have you ever like uh, have you ever felt like a stranger to the people around you? I'm sure we have all felt so. In my life, I've never thought that I would be moving across four different countries and be learning five different languages. In 2003, I was born in England and lived there for four years. During these four years, I did not remember much, but what I mostly remember is going out to my parents to Leicester Square to get some ice cream and having that. I felt like those four years were the best four years of my life. <laughs> After my brother was born, we moved to Hyderabad, a huge city in South India. For the first few years, I did not feel like I fit there. It felt like going back to England. I used to complain to my parents of going back to England. But after a while, I made lots of friends, and I was really happy. We used to have lots of parties with lots of singing and dancing. We used to also play street cricket. But there was one downside. The school there was a nightmare. Students were thrashed by the people, by the teachers for any mistake done. As a result, I was sick most of the time. Knowing this, my parents changed my school. I joined a Waldorf school called Sloka. I made lots of friends there. The school involved a lot of social engagements, especially during Indian festival seasons. That is the whole year. <laughs> Anyways, I studied there for two years and then I was told that we were moving to Switzerland. I was really excited but at the same time I felt sad knowing that I missed all my friends. Anyways, with struggle for the first few years of settling in India, I made lots of friends with whom I'm still friends with. I've also learned and experienced the culture of the country which I come from. By 17th April 2018, uh, 2014, we moved to Zurich, Switzerland. I did not like the school there. Since they spoke German, I couldn't communicate with them, resulting in me not making friends in our class. It was, I felt like an outsider. But the first German sentence I learned was, Ich habe mein Hausaufgabe nicht gemacht, which means, I did not do my homework. <laughs> <laughs> Later in the year, I started taking extra German classes. And this day finally came, where I had to give a presentation in front of the whole class in a foreign language. It was frightening. I was petrified. And I was nervous. These were the thoughts going on in my head. And I finally gave that speech. I was really nervous and my body started to shiver. But by the end, I was relieved. And I learned and realized that giving speeches was fun. Ever since, for the next four years, I gave lots of presentations in our class. Slowly, by seventh grade, I made lots of friends. These are my friends and their pictures. <laughs> and as usual, uh, my life is interrupted with moving to another country. <laughs> uh, after a 14 year long wait in 2018, our green card process began. These are the pictures of uh, us moving. So, we had an interview at Bern Embassy. These are the US Embassy in Bern pictures. Uh, we had an interview. Uh, which decided if we were going to get the green card or not, and as you see, we got that. And a uh, funny incident is, on our way back to Zurich, uh, we stopped at a shopping mall in Bern, and it was ironic that we found the first KFC in Switzerland on the same day that we were leaving, or we got the green card since my brother and I we're waiting for one ever since we arrived in Switzerland. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, as we were eating the most expensive KFC product, <laughs> uh, we booked our flights to the US since we had to be in the school by 15th November. Uh, so, the last week there was the most hectic week of our lives. We had to clear our house and give away most of our, free, most of our stuff for free. It was pretty upsetting. Looking back at the five years of settling in Switzerland, or living in Switzerland, 
I learned a lot, such as socially interacting in an unknown environment, learning the new languages, and uh, learned that giving speeches was fun. Anyways, we booked our flights to New York via Düsseldorf. On our way to New York, we were asked several times why we were leaving such a beautiful country like Switzerland for the U.S. I did not understand that then, but now I do. <laughs> Uh, this is where a new chapter began when we arrived in New York. Through this experience, I've learned a lot, such as making new friends, interacting in an unknown environment, the languages, that giving speeches was fun, and much more. I've also learned another thing, that if you're given enough effort, you can get the best outcome out of struggling experiences. So, yeah, this is the slide I've done. And uh, I'd just like to say that without this experience of mine in my life, I wouldn't have been here giving a TED talk in front of an audience. Thank you. <laughs>